I just thought I'd do a video for this particular job because uh, there's not a lot online and it's a bit faffy to adjust. So this is a VW Crafter to 2008. And uh, when we first bought this vehicle, uh, we bought it and we knew that it wasn't getting, uh, let's remember now, uh, fifth and sixth gear it was struggling with. So we made some fine adjustments using these uh, ratchet adjusters here and we managed to get it pretty much bang perfect. Anyway, recently it's been struggling to get second gear. It's been a little bit tricky to get in and out. So uh, I watched another YouTube video actually. This is uh, a bit ago and in there, you know, when this is worn, there's like a plastic cup in there which you can buy i think it's about 30 quid to refurbish this part of the gear shifter um well since then you can actually buy and i've not fitted it yet i'll uh i'll include how it goes but you can buy this unit for about 60 quid on ebay which is the complete shifter unit so it's a chinese replica but it feels solid. It feels like good quality. This VW one here, I think it's the same one in a Mercedes, uh, is obviously quite worn. So I've already been messing about with these this week to try and get uh, a, a much smoother gear change. And I, I'm close, but it's uh, I just think I need to just change this. So I'm going to fit this today. I've also picked up uh, the gear linkage cables, which I may or may not fit. I'm going to just pop the existing cables on to this unit, which is a relatively quick job, and see how it feels. And I'll decide if I'm going to go ahead and change these as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So obviously, it's just a case of stripping away all the dash. Uh, these ball joints just pop off by hand quite easy these are the ratchet adjusters you've got a sort of uh when you rebuild it i guess we'll come to that won't we you uh you've got to lift these ratchets there's a little press piece there you've got to squeeze them together and it allows you to move this piece either up or down so it locates very precisely with that ball joint and if you're missing any gears, it's the same on the back one. So there's one towards the back. So by my reckoning, this one at the back does your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And when you actually push the gear selector over, when you push it, let's see now, push it down that way, it opens the gate. So this one, this cable here, it's opening and closing the gate to allow you uh, to get across to fifth and six. And when you pull it the other way, it lets you through the gate to get to reverse. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's a very faffy thing to adjust, but let's get into it. So, yeah, pop that off. Let's see if I can... Uh, balance my phone to record so it's just a case of popping off these retaining clips so that one's on and then uh, by loosening these top retaining bolts it allows you to uh, rotate this whole mechanism down out of the way, which gives you good access to the uh, gear selector cable at the back. Because it's pretty much impossible to get to put all this in the way. So that rotates down and it's got these rubber feet at the bottom, you see. And there's a little cable at the back, which is quite, oh, hang on, I'll, I'll zoom the camera in on this, because it's, if you didn't know it was there, it would be very easy to, uh, 
that one. So when you rotate that forward, you've got to remember to pull that out. And then we're into this back cable here, which has got the same ratchet mechanism. Um, when I was making all of my adjustments this week, that one didn't seem to be too critical. That one just, I lined it up, you know, so it looks in a good position for that ball joint. And I just popped it on, it was fine. It was actually, it was this one at the side, which was causing havoc. <laughs> So you've got to have that one perfect, otherwise you cannot get through the gate. You have missing gears and all sorts if that one's not perfect. So, yeah, they're just in there. So if I go under now, I shouldn't need to jack it up. I had a little look under there the other day. So these are the new uh, selector cables. Uh, that's the little ratchety bits that go on the end. So you buy them separately to the actual cables. Same part number for them ratchety bits, so they're both the same. Uh, obviously these cables though are specific, so I to not mix them up in their positions. I'm gonna wriggle under here and uh, see if I can get this off at the bottom and then I'll be able to feed them back through so uh, yeah there they are up there look if I can zoom in it's a bit tight under here so That's them, so I'll see if I can get in. There's a closer look. I've got no idea how to unclip these yet. Looking at the new ones, I'd say I've got to pull that plastic part back out uh, without breaking it. So let's have a go. I can hardly fit under here. I'm just going to try and balance my phone for uh, filming. I can't. Right, we're unclip down below. Um, I'm just now gonna pull the cables back through, and the routing of them obviously they want to go behind there, so they'll have to go back in the way I take them out. I'm just going to roll them through if I can with one hand. And get a closer look at these uh, clips as well on the other end. Just trying to get these out one at a time. The holes oh, are just big enough. Excuse me, that works. Right, so they're clear. So I'm gonna wiggle these out, get them outside, and compare, make sure they are correct. So, hello, dog. Dogs come to help. <laughs> so obviously, I'll need to attach these ratchet that go the other end one thing i have noticed on mine one ratchet is black and the other one's not black <laughs> uh i've been given two exactly the same so I'm sure that'll be fine right stop eating my parts so all i'll have to do with this dog <laughs> is uh these clips i'll have to reuse if i knew about them before or if i thought on i should have asked for uh new retaining clips for everything but uh i never thought on typically so i'll reuse these plastic clips thankfully i've not broke them they were an unusual thing to unclip these at the other end all i did was in the end pop the ball joint off 
you can do really easily and it was almost ready to go at that it's just a case of almost wiggling it that way and it just pops off uh this is really good i was worried about breaking them if i was leaving on them too badly but they just wriggle off so i can now pull these off and uh attach them to these we'll do that next so this is interesting i've just started to uh take these plastic clips off to transfer onto the replacement cables and uh, these white pieces here which are spring loaded it's almost like it should take that other style metal clip the horseshoe type but i don't want to be changing anything really on the setup so i'm presuming that they come like this for other applications if i had more of them put their metal clips which I don't right now to hand, I could probably use this. It looks like a nice spring loaded design for pulling it through and clipping it. Anyway, I'll pop the uh, cover off and noticed that the design of this piece there underneath the plastic is the same as that. So I'll keep going, I'll pop this clip off just so I'm refitting it exactly how I took it apart. I'm happy with that. So we're just on the other end now. I'm just fitting these ratchet pieces. Um, so we are just, just got to put them in and there's like a, an end there. I've got to hold it with two hands though, but they just pop on. I'll see if I can do it. Hang on. That's it, so it just clips in like that. So, I'm presuming that these hand grenade pins are there to help with the adjustment, so I'm not gonna disturb them just yet. We'll uh, get these cables, I've got the clips on. Well, so we'll get these cables back through, fed back in. I'll deal with the underside first and then we'll um, get all this set up i think once it's all in the perfect position of alignment and probably clipped on the ball joints i think then would be a good time to pull this handbrake cable handbrake cable hand grenade cable and hopefully we'll look at you have the perfect adjustment right i got that fed through it wasn't too bad i just had to wriggle it in can only go one way so that's good. I've not looked underneath yet to see if the routing of the cables is correct. So we'll check that and uh, see how it looks. All right, I'm back in my happy place. <laughs> so the poke through, they're just hanging there. So if I remember rightly, the correct routing was over this. Uh, that looks like a hydraulic line going into the uh, slave or the clutch. So it was over the top, and then they've got to get to here, which you just sort of wiggle them into position and they clip in. It's not actually too bad at all. And then you just clip them straight on the ball joints. So I'll, uh, I may or may not be able to get this on film. I'll just place my phone down and we'll hope for the best, see if it gets it. Um, where's that going to point to then? Expert camera film work. Right. Oof. I've not bothered jacking this up. <laughs> uh, if I could just about squeeze in, he says. Oh. Yeah. Right. So the white one. <laughs> And I think the white one goes furthest away. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. It'll come from that direction. Like that. So the white one was the low down one, I think. 
I might have to double check this in a minute if I'm right on my uh, picture that I've taken. So, just sort of uh, at it. Just clips in. And the black one was higher up. Come on, fit. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting some resistance. She doesn't want to fit. Yeah. That's it, it's it. Success. Right, and then that just pulls a little bit and clips on there like so. That one just pulls and clips on here. Yeah. Like so. Right, they're clipped and correct. All looking good. Very good, right. Oh, need to wriggle out now, and then we can hook that back up at the top. Oh, here we go. So they're hooked up down below the new uh, selector cables. I've just reused the original plastic retaining clips, uh, which have gone back on no problem. Everything's clipped in nicely and it wasn't bad at all actually so far so uh i shall go and hook the top up now okay so we're back up top we've got the brand new um gear selector mechanism off ebay uh which was about 70 quid and we're just about to install the uh brand new gear selector cables so before i do that i'm just going to lock this in the central position try and do this with one hand but that's achieved by carefully undoing these clips set and the bottom section slides down and it locates into them little uh, cut out parts down below. So that locks that in the central position. That's in preparation for adjusting the uh, ratchet mechanisms on these selector cables. So I might have to uh, Pop my phone out of the way to be able to do this because it is a bit fiddly. I'll see if I can just uh, film from up here. Looks about right. So the back selector cable the back the black selector cable goes at the back um so pops through and we have the uh, metal clips which we've taken off and we've removed the other the selector cable so they just clip back on I'll stiff that I'm gonna have to just use an implement it's just this back one that's stiff the, uh, the other one's all right Clipped in there. So 
that's centered off and these are still really loose whilst they've got these uh, pull tabs on them so I'm going to clip that on now but I'm going to resist the temptation to pull this pull tab just for a few moments longer um, so pop this side cable through whilst it's still off because you can get a better angle possible whilst this mechanism is attached for this one but it's, uh, it's at risk of bending the selector cable come on ah. it's through Pull the hand grenade, but that's kind of good because I can show how you uh, get the adjustment back. Right, so I'm not gonna do anything else to that particular one there. I'm just gonna get this into the right position. So there's rubber feet at the bottom which locate. So I'm going to just nip these up. I don't think it will make too much difference to be honest, but I just think if everything's in its final position um, and then make the adjustments. Okay, so it's good that this has popped off. Look, let's call it a deliberate mistake. So these, you, uh, you pull, just pull them away like that. You see that motion? So I'm pulling the black part up with my hand and the plastic part down with my hand. And it lets you do that, moving them up and down. So in theory, you can just pull it up to where your ball joint is. I'll just get a bit closer. So you can just pull it up and make the adjustments that you need. So it's, it's right on the ball joint. And then just leave go and then pop it on. So that should be somewhere near. But I've got that ratchety thing, so I'm going to see if I can reset it and do it how the manufacturer intends. So let's try and do that. I'm going to give it a final little tweak with my pliers just to make sure it's clipped in properly I'm happy with that just that's how you do it so these uh, hand grenade things they're designed to clip on the side so see how nice and free that is now for making all the adjustments that you want to do um so all it means is that you can clip it onto this because this is already in the perfect center position uh this has all been it's brand new and renewed we've got brand new gear selector cables we're all nice and free on the gearbox end so in theory if we do this by the book we'll have absolutely perfect gears on this 2008 crafter which i'll not say how many miles it's the engine's got less miles than the uh, chassis. It's like triggers broom. Everything's been changed on this bus. And this is a nice new ball joint, so it's going to take more effort to clip on. But it's on. So, 
this is almost moment of truth. I'm getting a bit excited here. So that's centered. That's clipped on there. Back one's clipped on. We're all clipped on down below. All that's left to do now is to pull these hand grenade pins. So let's go for it. So I'll be careful. I don't want to break anything. That's it. So that one's done. Kaboom. So that's the back one done. I'm just going to reach my finger in and just have a little squizzle in with it and just see. Yeah, it feels like it's correct doing what it should do that popped off whilst i was uh flaffling so put that back on in a minute that's the uh that clips in here that's for the um the reverse light anyway i can't wait so let's pop this lower piece up so that's just put it back to normal operating mode so that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So that is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. I've had so much hassle just in these on my old linkage cables, hours and hours and hours, and I've never managed to get it perfect. So that's the best thing. I think the, the total cost for the linkage cables with the ratchet ends I got them direct from the VW um, parts place, main dealer, um, and he got it off the registration of the vehicle first time. I think it was 140 quid, including VAT, for the cables. And like I said, this was 70 quid on eBay. And that feels absolutely lush. It's like a new van. Have we got reverse? Yes, of course we have. Get in. There you go.